This is our heated chemical test station, uh, otherwise known as HCT. At this station, we require uh, proper protective equipment, uh, that is a chemical resistant lab coat, as well as goggles or safety glasses and gloves. At this station, we have an air filter, a beaker with Dinosol 750, and a hot plate. Okay, for the procedure of the station, we turn on the hot plate up to 405. We insert the thermometer into the Dinosol on the hot plate, set that for 105 degrees. Once the Dinosol 750 reaches 105 degrees, we then insert the part that we're going to test for resurfacing. We use an alligator clip or any other apparatus that can suspend the part in the dinosaur. And we adjust the arm, attach the alligator clip to the arm with the unit to be tested attached. We then lower it into the dinosaur. Uh, for larger parts, it's easier. You can leave half of the unit suspended uh, in the dinosaur and the other half out of the dinosaur. For smaller units, at times you will end up immersing the entire unit. And once we do have it set, uh, we close the door, let it sit for, again, an hour, and then we come back, we check it under the microscope. After an hour's time, we come back to the station, we open the lid, remove the part that has been tested, rinse it off in normal tap water, allow the unit to dry, and then we take it over to a microscope and look for any changes in the surface, any scratching, any uh, additional part markings that may not have been there prior to HCT or heated chemical test. After we remove the part uh, that we've tested in our heated chemical test, we come to the microscope station, we turn on our microscope, uh, turn on our camera and monitor, and then we place the item or the part on the microscope stage and begin looking for any surface changes uh, any evidence of scratching or sanding marks or anywhere that we can see that some of the surface area has been removed. Uh, again, on a smaller unit, more than likely the entire unit would have been immersed, so we were definitely looking for sanding marks and scratch marks. On a larger unit, we can immerse half of the unit so we can see the difference from one side to the other to see if any surface layers have been removed and also see if any scratch marks are present. On this part after HCT, we can see that there are some of the surface uh, layer still present in the top left hand corner. Alongside of that, you can also see sand marks or scratch marks going horizontally across the part, also across the part marking. Uh, we do not see any evidence of remarking, but we definitely see evidence that this part has been resurfaced or uh, coded.